Francis Power Cobb, the 4th of December 1822 to the 5th of April 1904, was an Irish writer, social reformer, anti-vivisection activist, and leading women S. suffrage campaigner. She founded a number of animal advocacy groups, including the National Anti-Vivisection Society in 1875, and the British Union for the Abolition of Vivisection in 1898, and was a member of the Executive Council of the London National Society for Women's Suffrage. She was the author of a number of books and essays, including The Intuitive Theory of Morals 1855, On the Pursuits of Women 1863, Cities of the Past 1864, Criminals, Idiots, Women and Minors 1869, Darwinism in Morals 1871, and Scientific Spirit of the Age 1888. Life Francis was a member of the prominent Cobb family, descended from Archbishop Charles Cobb, primate of Ireland. She was born in Newbridge House in the family estate in what is now Donabate Co. Dublin Cobb worked at the Red Lodge Reformatory and lived with the owner, Mary Carpenter, from 1858 to 1859, but a turbulent relationship between the two meant that Cobb left the school and moved out. Cobb formed a relationship with the Welsh sculptor Mary Lloyd 1819-1896, whom she met in Rome in 1861 and lived with from 1864 until Lloyd's death. That death, in 1896, affected Cobb badly. Her friend, the writer Blanche Atkinson, writing, The sorrow of Miss Lloyd's death changed the whole aspect of existence for Miss Cobb. The joy of life had gone. It had been such a friendship as is rarely seen, perfect in love, sympathy, and mutual understand, around 1891 and in danger of losing their home at Hang WRT, in which Lloyd had inherited a share on the death of her parents, the couple were relieved by a legacy of over £25,000 from the widow of Richard Vaughan Yates. They are buried together at St. Iltud Church Cemetery, Yonaltud, Gwynedd, Wales. In letters and published writing, Cobb referred to Lloyd alternately as husband, wife, and dear friend. Cobb founded the Society for the Protection of Animals Liable to Vivisection in 1875, the world's first organization campaigning against animal experiments, and in 1898 the BUAV, two groups that remain active. She was a member of the Executive Council of the London National Society for Women's Suffrage and writer of editorial columns for London newspapers on suffrage, property rights for women, and opposition to vivisection. Around 1880, with Louise Twining, she founded Homes for Workhouse Girls. Cobb met the Darwin family during 1868. Emma Darwin liked her. Miss Cobb was very agreeable. Francis persuaded Charles Darwin to read Immanuel Kant. S. Metaphysics of Ethics. She met him again during 1869 in Wales, and apparently interrupted him when he was quite ill, and tried to persuade him to read John Stuart Mill. And indeed Darwin had read Francis's review of Mill's book, The Subjection of Women. She then lost his trust when without permission she edited and published a letter he d. written to her. Her critique of Darwin. S. Descent of Man, Darwinism in Morals was published in the Theological Review in April 1871. Cobb's activism for women's rights included advocating for women to be allowed to take university examinations and therefore earn a degree at Oxford and Cambridge. She presented a paper at the Social Science Congress in 1862 to argue the issue. Posthumous recognition a portrait of her is included in the mural of heroic women by Walter P. Starmer unveiled in 1921 in the Church of St. Jude on the Hill in Hampstead Garden suburb, London. Her name and picture, and those of 58 other women's suffrage supporters, are on the plinth of the statue of Millicent Fawcett in Parliament Square, London, unveiled in 2018. Her name is listed on the south face of the Reformers Memorial in Kensal Green Cemetery in London. See also Brown Dog Affair Lizzie Lind A. F. Hagibi Caroline Earl White Women and Animal Advocacy
References Further reading Francis Power Cobb, The Modern Rack, Papers on Vivisection. London, Swan Sonnenschein, 1889. Butinger, Craig. Women and Anti-Vivisection in Late Nineteenth-Century America. Journal of Social History, Vol. 30, No. 4, Summer, 1997, pp. 857–872 Kane, Barbara. Victorian Feminists. Oxford 1992 Hamilton, Susan. Francis Power Cobb and Victorian Feminism. Palgrave Macmillan, 2006. Rakow, Lana and Kramerate, Cheris. The Revolution in Words, Women's Source Library. London, Routledge, 2003 ISBN 0-415-25689-5 Laurie Williamson, Power and Protest, Francis Power Cobb and Victorian Society. 2005. ISBN 978-1-85489-100-6. A 320-page biography. Victorian Feminist, Social Reformer and Anti-Vivisectionist, Discussion on BBC Radio 4's Woman's Hour, 27 June 2005. State University of New York, Francis Power Cobb, 1822-1904 The Archives of the British Union for the Abolition of Vivisection, Rep. UDBV, are held at the Hull History Center, and details of Holdings on its online catalog. External links Works by or about Francis Power Cobb in Libraries, WorldCat Catalog